Good morning, Pine Tree Patriots. Miss Harris here. Today is a wonderful Wondering Wednesday, February 15th. I'm filling in for the new show, Peeps, today because I had a little bit of a technology glitch and I couldn't fix it and didn't have enough time to have them re record it. So you're stuck with me today. I hope you're all wearing red today because today's our third day of Kindness Week. Do you see all of the Patriots out there wearing their It's Cool to Be Kind shirt? Teachers, make sure to take pictures of your kiddos wearing red today or wearing their It's Cool to Be Kind shirt and send them to me so that I can put them on the new show on Friday and share them with our families on Facebook. Do you know every day this week we've been having a quote of the week? Today's quote is, kindness is the universal language that can be spoken by everyone. Smiling, waving, or saying hello, even in another language, are all ways that you can be kind, no matter what. What a nice quote. Kindness is a language that everybody can speak. So your random act assignment today is to tell at least one person why they're awesome. You can tell a classmate, a teacher, or a friend, or maybe anybody that you pass by on the sidewalk today. Maybe they'll even tell you why you're awesome too. Today is the day for first grade's craft fair. Did you bring your change today? Your pennies, your nickels, your dimes, your quarters? Go and see the amazing things that these first graders have been making so that they can learn about being producers and consumers. I can't wait to see all the things that you guys purchased today at the first grade craft fair. Run for funds is on Friday. Have you earned your way cool prizes yet? The money you raise is going to help us build a shelter for the playground because it is hot out there. I am looking forward to seeing you all in the shade. So you have three more days to raise money. Be sure to call your grandma in California, your aunt in Illinois. Remember, dig into the couch like Miss Stewart said and find some loose change in there so that you can help bring shade to our playground. Hey, since it's Wednesday, we have another Wondering Wednesday episode from Mrs. Greco. Take it away, Ms. Greco. Hey, Patriots, Ms. Greco here for our next round of Wondering Wednesday. Two weeks ago, you were challenged to find out information about jellyfish, and boy, did you guys find out some really interesting facts. I'm going to share two of the facts I learned from Adriana in Ms. Bunce's class and Kelly in Ms. Meyer's class. Kelly found out that life cycles of jellyfish actually have two different forms, that they take on two different forms while they live. And she found information about their nerves, which is what they use since they don't have a brain. So they have nerves at the bottom of their tentacles, and they use these nerves to pick up on stimuli while they're in the ocean. And Adriana found out that jellyfish lay eggs, and she also found out that some jellyfish can be larger than a human. Oh my goodness. For this week's Wondering Wednesday, it comes from Brady in Miss McInich's class. And take a look at this video to find out what Brady wants to know. Oh, we all know that feeling. You bump your elbow in just the right spot and it sends a shooting, stinging, terrible tingling from your shoulders down to your fingertips. Ugh, you've hit your funny bone. But have you ever wondered why it feels so funny to hit your funny bone? All right, Patriots, as you can tell from the video, Brady wants to know why when you hit your elbow, also known as your funny bone, why we don't actually laugh, but instead it hurts really bad. Remember that you need to use sources to find the answer to this question. You can use a reliable website, a book in the hub, or maybe you have an expert in your family that you can ask. However you come up with the answer, write it down, tell me the source you used, tell me what the answer is, and send it my way. Don't forget, I'm always in the hunt for new Wondering Wednesday questions. So write those down and send them to my office or have your teachers drop them in my mailbox. I can't wait to find out what you discover about our funny bones. Have a great day, Patriots. Thanks, Ms. Greco. I can't wait to find out why people call your elbow a funny bone because it is certainly not very funny when you hit it. Don't forget to submit your answers and cite your source. Hmm, let's see if we have any birthdays today and the day after Valentine's Day. <laughs> Happy birthday to Audrey S. in Miss Smith's class and a belated birthday to her mom who now works at our school. Happy birthday, Mrs. Shelb. Okay, time for lunch because man, am I hungry. So today for lunch, we're having the usual PB&J to go box, yogurt dipper box, a corn dog or Southwest pizza. Your vegetable and fruit and side choices are savory, sweet savory fries, garden side salad, 
fresh sliced apples, pineapple bites, or juice. And you know, don't forget your milk and utensils. Forgot to tell you who's last week's Zern and Lexia winners are. So last week we had a tie for, the, we had three classes that met the challenge of having 100% people using Lexia. So we put those three names in a hat, pulled out a name, and Miss Mullen's class, she won her class one cookies this week for winning our Lexia challenge. And then for our Zern challenge, we had two classes that met 100% usage of Zern. And we put those two names in a hat and Mr. Goodlet's third grade class got the cookies this week for their Zern challenge. So remember, get on that Lexia and earn those units and make sure you're doing three lessons a week in Zern. It's that time again, Patriots. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and then be seated for a moment of silence. Don't forget, tomorrow is Work Out Your Problems with Kindness Day. You can wear your athletic clothes, your sports jersey, anything that you can work out in to be comfy, to work out with kindness. Remember, we're living the questions by feeding our passions and exploring our wonders. Bye.